Silence is golden in these forests. Absolutely beautiful. You know, if you go deep into a forest and get really, really quiet, you begin to realize that you're connected with everything. You know, I'm protected by the winds, but the winds are gonna die down. I've decided to camp, wild camp in the forest tonight because on the tops where I was originally planning for my walk, it is open land and at this time, at this like sort of weather, the winds are gonna to be too high. So I thought, why not do a forest camp and hear the sounds of the wildlife? You might see the deer, the squirrel, badgers, anything. I'm gonna cook some food. I've just been setting up my gear inside the tent there because it is coming up to sunset soon. I've got about half an hour, about an hour of light, but about 30, 40 minutes of before the sun actually sets. But I'm gonna have something to eat. I'm gonna chill out and I'll get back to you soon, but I'm gonna sort the sleeping out, mat out first and get something down this. I'll speak to you in a bit. Being in a forest is what it's all about. Well, it is going to get cold tonight. Probably going to have hot drink. A lovely cup of tea. With, and then afterwards, I'm going to fry some potatoes and bacon. Some soup for later. And, you know, there's nothing really to be scared about. Peace and basically nature can flow into you like the sunshine in the spring the winds will blow their freshness into you and the storms their energy but cares will wash away like the leaves of autumn see when I get back when I get back home I've got a date tomorrow night so I better get back home safe with a beautiful woman. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. The end of the sky, yeah? This is dinner tonight. The salute potatoes with bacon and onions. It is going to be a some meal. what it's all about. Dry cure bacon and all. It's going to be really nice. It's going to be a good camp. It's now time that I am cooking the bacon. Got the buns, the brice buns. And that is epic man. Look at that. That is what it's all about. I'll see you in a bit wild camping. I'll talk about that in a bit. This is part of Peel the Forest. It's great when you hear the rushes of the wind hitting through the trees. It's absolutely beautiful. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that really. It's a tent down there, it's getting dark. It's just about quarter past five now. Ten minutes time it'll be. Ten, fifteen minutes it'll be gone. I have a couple more cups of tea and relax, meditate for an hour or so and then go to bed, have a good night's sleep, fresh air of nature, of peace. Yes, there are other animals, wild animals in here, but nothing to be afraid of. Fear is a state of mind. I'll talk to you in the tent in a moment about wild camping because that's what we all want to know why we do it. Let's get back to the tent, eh? Hey, guys. Well, I'm lying down. It's time for meditation. It's a way of healing my body from the stresses of daily life. This is what walks with nature is about. Is yes, you might chill out in your tent for the next four hours. And then fall asleep. But listen, just listening. I'm going to have another cup of tea uh, in about an hour. And then another wee, but I'm going to 
make sure I get a good night's sleep at night. I can hear the wind, but I get these little bursts like that through the trees. It's quite good though, because you are protected from the worst of it. It's quite nice um, while camping in forests, because it's... I mean, I can hear the sounds of the birds now. I know the wind's a little bit loud on the outside, rustling through the leaves, but I can hear, I can hear the sounds of the wildlife. Once it gets dark and a bit, I'm going to be able to see the stars. It's clear skies up there. It's clear skies up there. I'd stare at the stars. I'm not worried. No. Worrying and fear is a state of mind. A lot of people who live in the city are getting too suffering from anxiety, depression, a lot of different um a lot of bad stuff's happening. And it's it's not just one or two, it's it's becoming a, a basic basically it's becoming a lot for a lot of people it's it's happening to a lot of people a lot more than it should. And it's because we're not reconnecting with nature. And if we reconnect with nature we can see our true selves. Like I was saying before, if you go deep, deep into a forest and get really quiet, you begin to understand that you are connected with everything. Yes, I climb mountains, I camp on its summits in the summer. And there's nothing really to be scared about. Walks with wild Northumberland. This is wild Northumberland. No one's going to help us tonight. Lovely bacon sawney there before. And potatoes weren't too bad either. And um, lovely half a litre of cup of tea. Which nearly, phew, might as well just have a full bottle. I'm um, going to have another cup of in a bit. Keep us warm. Some hazelnut stacks there as well. Got a bit of soup if I fancy it. I'm full. I'm going to be tired off the walk. I followed in bridal way all the way from Bellingham. And then forest track for about 15-20 minutes. And because the original route was going to follow the Panning Way north to Padden Hill. But I wasn't going to risk it in this uh, in these winds. Not on the top of a summit of a hill like that. But uh, I will do. Don't worry, that's that's on my agenda. Some boffies coming up soon as well. Um, up the road there, it's too far for me at night is a um, rough side buffy and killed a forest and I'm going to do spit hole by Bines and see how it goes really and it doesn't get better than that really it doesn't get better than that wild Northumberland well I've just been outside the tent there and the skies are dark obviously and what I've seen in the night sky was Something you cannot comprehend, you cannot see anywhere else. This is the Northumberland National Park that I'm in, the Kilda Water and Forest Park. They are known to have the darkest skies in Europe. And tonight, it's a clear sky. The camera won't show it, but the stars are how this world, I'm speechless basically. Milky Way is above my head. Every time, every single time in Northumberland National Park you see this, you see this natural phenomenon. Being able to reconnect with the universe of where we come from. It's something that <laughs> I'm lost for words to describe. People look through telescopes and cities and don't even see as many stars. I look up at the stars outside my tent and the sea with a naked eye. So you wonder why I do wild camping. Whether it be in the mountains of the Lake District, Scotland, or Northumberland, hills in Northumberland. The reason why is you can settle down, you can cook your tea, have a nice hot meal. Hot cup of tea, hot coffee, chocolate. You can listen to the sounds around you, the nature. Breathing in the fresh air, no matter what the weather. It's a way of living, basically. 
and another life on the air of being a shepherd. But now I'm just a posh tramp out on the hills. I am wild Northumberland. And I am in wild Northumberland right now. It's pretty wild. <laughs> it's a wilderness up here. And I'm just going to drink this hot tea I've got here. Look at the stars. And go to bed. And feel nature's peace inside me. I'm not getting emotional. I'm happy. I am more happy now than I have been in a long, long time. It may still be early hours. But this... I'll say this tomorrow. I'll say this to people. On Facebook, on Twitter, on YouTube. Is that this may be one of the best wild camps I've ever had. And I'm going to spend a lot more time up here in Kielde, up in Northumberland National Park. Because I can't comprehend how good it is. I can't describe how good it is. You're going to have to go there yourself. It's what it's all about. 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 Hearing the sounds of the wildlife. Now that is something special. It's something that you can not compare. We live in cities where we don't have these natural these I can hear a lot. It's incredible. It's not scary. <laughs> it's just amazing the, the sounds of the ears. Being able to hear all of these natural, natural things. Sorry about that. But we will be having another cup of tea, which is ready. It's boiling. It's really hot at the minute, and I shall be a nice, relaxing night, and then falling asleep. Hopefully, the best night's sleep I've had in a while. Wrapped up got many other layers in case I need them but winter wild camping yeah as long as you're protected being safe and hock up to tea as well and keeping the spirits up you know that's what it's about there's something outside my tent there is I just heard it there it could have been anything well <laughs> doesn't give you goosebumps it is it's quite uh no idea what it is yeah <laughs> i used to get scared by these things there's nothing to be scared of now it's time to settle down my friend i will update you in the morning that's what it's all about good morning from northumberland national park It is beautiful. Mm. Oh, just having some hot. Uh, my jet boiled next to the tent there. Having some hot tea. Listening to the sounds of the water and the sounds of the wildlife. I'm leaving in about 10 minutes. I just need to pack the tent up. And what a night! I was up a few times, the sounds of the wind whistling over the trees, as usual, but it was good fun, it was good fun, I got a good few hours, I went to bed about 7 o'clock, I woke up at 7, but I was up and down all night, tossing and turning, and there's no rain, no gusts of wind, the only wind I heard was whistling through the trees, obviously, and there was no snow, so... This is wild Northumberland, and we shall be seeing you soon for another wild camp. It's what it's all about. It's what it's all about. Well, guys, this was the path that led. It was boring forest tracks for miles. I mean, for like an hour, an hour and twenty minutes or something. 
that's what I was following yesterday just to get to the forest from Bellingham because the original plan was obviously to go to the top of Padden Hill but it would have been awful but this morning look at that sun rising better be quick because that is epic I've got to get a photo of that that is blinding look at that that is blinding it's what it's all about now this is the moment I've been waiting for this is the finale for Wild Northumberland in Keeler Forest this week and this is a sunrise there's a sunrise and a sunset every day you can choose to be there for it you can put yourself in the way of nature's beauty just let it happen really and now that is why I go wild camping I'm walking along a forestry road but look at that sunrise the sky the endless forests that sunrise eh it doesn't get better than that eh